if you recapitulate the introduction class so plants cannot have any excretory organs in it like animals okay so that's why it all are ex, uh, product produced excretory materials are storing in different parts of the plant body okay like a leaves like a in a root stem flowers etc okay so we already discussed in fruits the nitrogenous waste materials uh, stores as a solid and rod shaped structures rod shaped structures which is called as a raphids and if you observe what are the excretory materials if the plant non green plants are which one kept in the dark places that can produce car, uh, that can perform respiration and it can produce carbon dioxide sir me uh, okay you can ask it why not in the light light uh, condition if it is if it is uh, situated or if it is placed in the light condition if it is a performed re respiration it can release as carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide can utilize us in the photosynthesis okay so every organism if it is a plant or any organism it can produce or it can perform respiration in any time okay so then in we are discussing about plants now that's why we are discussing we are saying that statement so that we are keeping that plant in the dark places so we are observing only respiration in respiration it can release us carbon dioxide if you kept it in the light condition light environment so light consisting environment it can perform photosynthesis and it can release us oxygen okay if if it's a little amount of oxygen it can conserve it can utilize it in the photosynthesis uh, respiration okay if is a excess of oxygen is there it can release us uh, into outer environment in that time that is oxygen is a excretory material so all that uh, information we all discussed in earlier class now we are want to discuss about what type of products are prepared are producing in the plant body so plant can produce as two kinds of metabolic products metabolic products that is that are simply one is a primary metabolites first one is a primary metabolites primary metabolic products or primary metabolites second one is a secondary secondary metabolites it means primary metabolites are useful to the plant body for their other metabolic activities okay like a in photosynthesis we can observe starch right like it means carbohydrates second one is a proteins fats these all are considered as a primary metabolites primary metabolites are you understand yes sir next one which are secreting waste materials so that uh, nitrogenous or carbon compound containing waste materials we are considered as a secondary metabolites it is not uh, uh, it is not utilized by the plant but it can use in other ways okay so that are mainly one is a alkaloids which one alkaloids second one is a tannins third one resins fourth one okay gums fifth one latex okay are you understand up to here yes, so we will list nitrogenous waste materials or alkaloids alkaloids carbon waste materials are a tannins okay now we want to discuss about each secondary metabolites we know very well about these uh, primary metabolites okay 
So now we want to discuss about the secondary metabolites. I will tell you about uh, alkaloids in last. First of all, we will discuss about the these things like a tannins, resins, gums, and latexes. Okay. Now we will discuss about uh, tannins. Tannins is a tannins are a carbon compounds. Waste material, carbon compound, waste material. The we can observe tannins. We will collect tannins from the plants like a cassia and acacia plants. Tell you lo, so much at lo antam. Okay, it is a zero phytic plants. Okay, it means very small leaves you can observe and sharp uh, needles. It means sharp spines you can observe in the cassia and acacia. So that type of plants can produce as tannins from their body. What is the importance of tannins? Importance of tannins. Tannins can utilize us. It, it has a economical importance. The tannins can utilize is a in a tanning process. Tanning process. It means so the leather industry in leather industry for the cleaning of or uh, to uh, clean the leathers to give uh, to uh, clean the leathers we can use these uh, tannins. Okay, it is collecting from the cassia and acacia. So next one, resins. Resins, these are very important. We will collect these resins from the gymnosperms. Gymnosperms, like a pinus, example. Pinus, it can, it has a leaves like a needles shape, like needles like uh, um, leaves. It has a resin vessels resin vessels. vessels in it resin vessels which has pro which can produce <coughs> these resins okay so the resins are a oils oil like substance it, it can easily get fires fire if you observe in geographical channel the uh, wet it are uh, the uh, living plant body also burns why because it has a resin canals sorry resin vessels or resin canals we can observe resin canals in it it can produce resins what is the importance of our economical <coughs> the economical importance of the resins the resins can use as for as a varnishes we can use the doors, windows, we can give a coating, shiny coating to that um, uh, wooden materials due to the usage of these resins. Varnishes. Which one? Varnishes. So we can use as a varnishes for good shiny color of the windows and doors. It is very economical, it has a very important and very economical importance is there. Okay, so next one, fourth one, gums. Which type of plants can produce gums like a cassia, acacia like plants can produce as gums also. If you, if any plant body got any injury, it can release us some uh, gelatinous material. It can seal the wound or it can seal, seal that uh, injury. Okay, that is helpful for uh, protecting from the invasion of uh, microorganisms. Okay, so these gums are useful to the plant body to prevent the entry of microorganism through the injuries. And also, it is very it has a very economical importance for the in binding into a book, books binding industry. 
so we can bind the books na so we can use gums that gums are collecting from the plants like a cassia and acacia okay that are secondary metabolites okay next fifth one latex which one latex, latex. if you observe the latex if you if you cut the plant body it can release us milky shape milky white color juice or milky white color uh, secretions milky white color secretions so that secretions are known as a milky white, white color white color secretions that are known as a latexes okay so if you observe in if you go to the uh, if you if you observe any in kerala if you observe in kerala if you uh, go to the tour or any thing okay occasionally if you go to the kerala you can observe many plenty uh, rubber plants in there huh? so if you observe the rubber plants which we consider it as a he the scientific name of rubber plant is known as a hevia brasiliensis hevia brasiliensis also known as a rubber plant so they can collect latex of that plant it can cut that bark of the uh, plant and it can uh, hold a uh, coconut uh, cup okay it can collect that latex in it and uh, it uh, move, it can uh, take to the rubber in the, it can uh, purchase to, uh, it means sold to the rubber industry okay from that latex they can collect uh, rubber okay so that is the economical importance this hevia brasiliensis is, is not native for our india it is k it is uh, migrated from the brazil it means some of the travelers are uh, taken from the brazil to india okay so that is the major resourcement of uh, rubber industry hevia which is which one is a hevia brasiliensis rubber plant it where they can collect latex and they can prepare gums okay for making of tires you erase erasers likewise all rubber products okay so and also the latex of the jatropha jatropha plant which we call it as a biodiesel plant bio diesel. diesel plant which is known as a biodiesel plant jatropha, jatropha. from the seeds of the jatropha they will will collect uh, oils okay so this very important one so that is used as a biodiesel instead of the petrol and diesel we can use it okay so this about latexes we are we can use a chick chickle gum okay chickle that is also a by product that is the product of latexes that is the one type of gum chickle we can chewing gum you, you know very well chewing gum that is also rubber came from the this uh, met, uh, plants are you understand up to here any doubts so are you understand up to here so hevia brasiliensis biodiesel plant it is a very important uh, points here don't forget okay right now we are discussing about uh, alkaloids which one alkaloids so we, from where we are collecting it so alkaloids are we already discussed these are nitrogenous waste materials okay another nitrogen waste materials also there that is a we can observe in parthenium parthenium plant so it can produce some pollen grains pollen yes. grains pollen grains of the parthenium pollen grains through the pollen grains it can release us some nitrogenous waste materials so is, is, the, is this uh, nitrogenous waste materials uh, can cause uh, asthma in our body okay so ekuga akkadu unnatvanti aa pollen grains manam gaani inhale chesam ante manaku we can face the asthma okay because of 
there is a nitrogenous waste materials are there in the in that pollen grains of parthenium it is a weed weed in the many crops weed in many crops are you understand so parthenium histlocarpum or parthenium plant which is a weed in commonly weed in uh, our crop plants so it can release as pollen grains it has a, a nitrogenous waste materials it can uh, it is a cause of asthma in our uh, in animals or humans okay are you understand so now second alkaloids nitrogenous waste materials are a alkaloids which one alkaloids alkaloids so in that different kinds of alkaloids are there one is a pyrethroids which one pyrethroids so where the plant where we are collecting from where, which plant we are collecting and which pot is collecting and what is the use of that uh, alkaloid so alkaloids are many alkaloids are very useful to the human kind we are using in our many diseases or in many ways so pyrethroids triadax it is also weed in uh, uh, crops we can observe generally in fields okay so triadax procumbens we can commonly it is known as a scientific name of that one triadax procumbens triadax plant it it has a pyrethroids alkaloids from where we are collecting it flowers it is used as a insect insecticide next one quinine quinine we are collecting from the plant of plant like cinchona officinalis cinchona officinalis we call it as a cinchona plant so that we can utilize bark of the this one from we can quinine will collect from the bark so it is used as a anti malarial drug okay in olden days they can use this uh, quinine or cinchona plant so next one nicotine nicotiana tobacco okay so generally it is a we, uh, people can use as a smoking agent okay it's a very bad habit so it can cause many problems so nicotiana in uh, it is a nicotiana tobacco so it is also known as a tobacco plant we will collect that alkaloid from the leaves so it is used as a insecticide not for so smoking it is a, it can kill the it can kill the insects it is used as an insecticide okay so next one morphine next one is a morphine or cocaine morphine or cocaine so you can commonly listen as a drugs okay so is collect from the papaver somniferum papaver somniferum it is also known as a opium plant opium plant so here we are collecting from the fruits of the plant so it is used as a pain killer in medicinal usage is there so next one reserpin next one is how reserpin so reserpin ravulfia serpentina it is a scientific name of that plant is a ravulfia serpentina it is used as a is also called as a snake root or snake root plant so it is a usage of usage part is a root and bark it is used as a medicine for the snake bite so snake bite epudu ayinappudu paamulu garisthe ekkuga adu vaadtu untaru so next one kefir we generally use it okay coffee arabica coffee plant so you use it as a seeds the powder of the seeds use as a coffee powder mix it with the milk so you can conserve it it is a relaxer it can give relaxation to the brain or central nervous system okay so next one scopolamine which one scopolamine so it is collected from the datura stromanium datura stromanium so we telugu lo ummetta pu antam kada so adi datura stromanium used part is a fruits and flower is a sedative it can give some sedativeness okay so next one nimbin we know very well neem plant okay ajadi recta indica also known as a neem plant that alkaloid is a nimbin whole plant can use as a medicine so it is a antiseptic anti these are the different kinds of alkaloids present in the plants 
present in plants so it is useful to the human kind i understand up to here yes, so okay next we want to know about uh, a person who is name of brugaman brugaman he is the he is a the scientist who observed pass okay na. next one we want to know about the study of brugaman brugaman is a scientist who studied the peculiar secretions from the root generally roots can meant for absorption absorption of water and minerals but brugman observed that some of the plants roots are secreting a peculiar chemicals okay it is collecting water and then addition to that it is releasing some chemicals so that chemicals are very important that is a it can it is secreting some chemicals like if you observe the apple plants apple plants it can produce fruits up to 4 to 5 years only then the roots can start secrete chemicals okay so after that it cannot produce any fruits farmers can uh, remove that plants and they can plant another plant another thing another apple plants in that field okay so this is a very important thing so next one we want to discuss about what are the differences between excretion and as well as the secretion so excretion we are now discussing about versus secretion what is meant by excretion excretion means elimination of the waste materials from the body it means the waste material sent out from the body okay so from the body the waste materials waste materials comes out from the body as well as if you observe the secretion secretion means the produced materials or the produced waste materials are transferred one point of the body to another point other point of the body so one part to another part it is only transferring not releasing not not uh, comes out from the plant body it is in between within the body it is transferring from the one part to another part okay so if you observe it in animals excretory materials like a carbon dioxide is excretory material gas okay so urine urea nitrogenous waste materials these all are <coughs> excretion excretoring materials are excretion that is known as excretion if you observe secretion example in, a, in our body is a saliva hormones enzymes these are the secretions of our body okay so if you observe if you observe hormones can produce by the gland and it can transfer to the a certain organ working where, where that uh, hormones are needed that can transport through the blood or it can leave as a, the help of vessels okay ducts so if you observe plants leaves can store the waste waste materials and it can uh, fall out it can fall out right so leaves can fall right so that is a excreting mode next one if you observe we already discussed the roots are secreting some peculiar chemicals it means it is excreting the material some materials okay so it is excreting roots are excreting some chemicals okay 
and then if you observe example in plants latex okay it can secrete resins <coughs> gums these are the main excretions are you understand yes sir so the oral orally this is the very important thing present here so about uh, brugman identifications and observation next one about excretion and secretion okay so write down excretion is a passive okay makrishma so here on one other thing excretion is a passive mode passive process and uh, secretion is a active, active process or active thing passive as well as the active so these are the differences between the excretion as well as the secretion so the, this is a topic we discussed here are you understand yes sir